All right, so my ceiling mounted quartz heater for the shop quit working last year. Um, now when I plug it in, no matter what position the switch is in, nothing comes on, not even the light. So winter's coming, it's just gonna get cold and, and I'm a big sissy, so I need to get this thing fixed. that one just sprinted. it's broke so what I'm looking for is a fuse of some kind um, it's like power comes in goes one is your ground to the frame of this thing And then each of the legs goes to the switch. One goes to the light to tell you that it's on. So it goes to the switch, which then activates the two elements All right, so I want to get the get this grid off and then the rest of this metal cover maybe I'd like very much to be able to get in there and test my elements to make sure that I have continuity through them and that they're not actually burnt out because if they are then it's really not worth fixing. There's two screws holding the switch in but I gotta get to them from the inside. How do I get to the inside? feeling I'm going to have to bend all these tabs up to get anything out. I have to slice my hand wide open on all this sharp sheet metal. Hey, hey, look at that. There we go. Where does that go? Yeah, one of them just goes to the stupid light. The light is useless. I have fluorescent lights in here, so I don't care about that. But it doesn't come on either, so I'm leaning towards more along, maybe it's the switch that's burned up. Let's test the switch. Now that I've gotten this out, we can disconnect everything from the switch. You should always take a picture though to make sure that when you hook this stuff up, if you're reassembling with the same switch, you hook everything up in the right place. Just make it hard to get into it. Nobody should work on it. Throw it away. Buy a new one. That's how we make our money. Hold off on the switch. I want to check continuity on the elements first. Alright, so.
Sweet. All right. They're both connected on this end. Yeah, both connected on this end, so. Elements are good. Again, it beeps. I can just use those two poles and it would still work with the pull string and everything. goes through the stupid light. Bulb's not burned out. The light. Screw the light. Don't want it. Don't want the light. Yeah. We need light. We all kinds of light. So we're gonna give that guy a little snap. We're gonna go ahead and give uh, this little guy here a snap. And uh, screw the light. One less wire to worry about. So this guy can then be who. Right, the F out. One wire I don't need. Screw the damn light fixture. Don't need that anyways. Hell with it. Look, I can see the wires. I can reach the wires now. Yeehaw. Screw it all. So this end is done. I'm done with this end. So we just got some power in and through. We don't need the other one either. We don't even need the other one that goes all the way over here. Right? Because we're just going to hook them both up in, in series. resistance wire though they're big resistors and in series they're gonna have more resistance but when they're in parallel you have lower resistance which means more current flow which means more heat output I prematurely snipped. I should test the resistance of each of these individually. 39 and a half ohms. Three amps. 360 watts. This was supposed to be like 1500 watts or something to that effect. 1500 divided by 120 equals 12.5. 12.5 amps, which makes sense because most space heaters, you wouldn't want to be tripping a 15 amp breaker. Right, you could technically plug that into a GFI. So 12 and a half. So 120 divided by 12.5. Nine and a half ohms. So we need them in parallel. Because that means each one is, call it 
called 40, called 40 ohms. Each one is 20, because when they're in series, you just add their values. When they're in parallel, I mean, it, it's going to cut it in half when it's just two. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that, damn, I did need that other wire. We're gonna we're gonna do a little snippy snip. Yeah. Oh, again, target was like nine and a half, nine ish, whatever. We're all parking it here. Oh my God, you big baby. Ten ohms? Yeah, target. Yeah, ten ohms. I mean, the, the math adds up. It's close to fifteen hundred. One twenty divided by ten. Easy enough. Twelve amps. And twelve times one twenty. Fourteen forty. I mean, that, that's pretty close to fifteen hundred. So, now, just gotta hook it up to the switch. Okay, so, upon further inspection, it, it looks like, it feels like, I think there's a fuse or maybe more likely a diode in here because, and I check for continuity, I'm usually just using the diode check. Um, you know, from with this, when it's just a wire that connects them, it, it gives me a beep, an audible beep, continuity. But when I go from in here to there, nothing, and which would be the case in one direction on a diode, but not the other, a rectifier diode. So I get nothing in either direction. So switch may be good and I'm just doing it wrong because it's it doesn't have a diagram or anything on there. I mean, it's a five pole switch. It's doing a lot of switching, so that may be fine. I may have just cut a bunch of wires for no reason whatsoever. That diode or whatever it is probably let the smoke out. So I need to get in there to that. How do I want to do that? Um, you know what? I'm gonna. I don't, I don't like these. These are stupid. So. Looking like there's something, something that's, something's in there. This is a thermal fuse. And that is blown. That's why it didn't work. So, sweet. I cut a bunch of wires for no reason. I got my thermal cutoff fuses in the mail today. Put this, uh, this bad boy together. Exact same thing. Nice. 
So <clears throat> I'm going to use the soldering seals to put everything back together rather than crimp connections and, and all that good jazz. I am going to replace these with just regular old connectors, but I think I might put a drop of solder on there. We'll see. Okay, so yeah, I forgot that that's just on when it's plugged in. Because I didn't think otherwise I could have wired it into the switch so it only came on when the switch was on. So. We gotta give him an oh ho oh, oh, there it is. Finally.